Hey there, it's Karen Knightley, and tonight I have with me the newest bundle release for Magic the Gathering. The newest release is for the Lost Caverns of Thank you so much for tuning into this video. We'll be opening the box here and opening all of the packs inside. And while we do that, this is an ASMR focused video, so it'll be super relaxing with lots of tingly sounds. Um, so if you enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below if you'd like to see more videos from me. Lately I've been posting a lot of magic videos um, just because there were a lot of really good releases lately and I just kind of have stockpiled up those videos but really hoping to get some more videos out of just triggers with no talking and more mic scratching as well as some role plays. Okay, so stay tuned and for now let's get into this. So I'm gonna try to turn it carefully. I think I successfully managed to not make the dice, like, freak out. Um, I love Magic the Gathering for all of the beautiful art cards and just everything that's included. Okay, so I just love tracing. This looks so pretty.
we'll set that off to the side and This is technically a spin down, so it's not an actual uh, dice that could be used for rolling like this. It's more to keep track of your health. So it always comes with these cardboard pieces that I never really end up doing anything with, so I usually just get tossed off to the side. So, let's go ahead and count one. a little bit of a instruction. I might keep this. I still plan to create a sort of how to play Magic the Gathering video. Uh, it's not going to be all-encompassing, but it will show you the basics to potentially get started on your own. So we'll put that off to the side. This is also another just instructional card. Alright, starting off with a full art. Not too bad. Henry Wu Ingen Geneticist and other human creatures you control have exploit. Whenever a creature you control exploits a non human creature, draw a card. The exploited creature to power three or greater, create a treasure token. Okay, that's cool. And of course, the land. Ooh, I like that. I like that too. Cool. Okay, so that's our land and our special card that we got. Um, I don't know the value of this. <laughs> I kind of did not do my homework before this video, so I'll use my best judgment. I'm sure it's a decent card. Um, exploit is going to be one of the new mechanics, so um, I think that'll be a pretty good card. Alright.
I don't care for those packages. They just are so loud. Alright, so we have hit the mother load. Sorcery, discover 10. Okay, that's a very expensive spell, so I would hope that I could just cast it for not that. <laughs> uh, let's see, discover 10 of the discovered cards. Mana value is less than 10. Huh. Well, okay. You know, I guess that works. And then this is all of our foil land. Very shiny and pretty, of course. I like tapping on these ones. They sound cool. Alright. Time to get into the actual packs. Okay. I'm super excited. I love opening new magic cards. with a land. Okay, hidden cataract. Enters the battlefield tapped. Discover four. Okay. Child of the volcano. Trample at the beginning of your end step. Okay. Frilled cave worm. Quicksand whirlpool. Song of stupid that sounds like a Harry Potter spell. Enchant creature or vehicle. Interesting. Song stupidification enter the battlefield. You need mill two cards. Okay. Interesting. Sorceress spyglass. Uh, it's an uncommon, but like, I kind of like that card. So uh, yeah, I might be using that. Let's see, Merv Merfolk. Cave Diver. One of our creature control explorers. Okay, cool, cool. We'll be getting um, all of the commander decks as well. We, me and my husband, we couldn't decide between them, so we ended up getting them all. Uh, so, pretty excited for the Merfolk deck. Okay, so Glow Cap Lantern. You may look at the top card for your library at any time. Okay. I mean, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got a flip card. Inverted Iceberg. It's an artifact with milling. Oh my god, that's so pretty. Holy shit. I'm sorry, what? That is so cool. Like, this is irrelevant. This is... Have echoing deeps enter the battlefield tapped as a copy of any land card in a graveyard, except it's a cave in addition to its other types. I'm in love with this card. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Oh my. We have so many lands. Petrify. Again, that's like Harry Potter. Chant artifact or creature, enchant a permanent, can't attack or block. Oh, 
Okay, so it's like pacify. Um, love this card. Enters the battlefield, choose a creature type, so it doesn't even have to enter tapped, it looks. And then add one mana of any color, spend this mana one. Okay, cool. That's actually, wow, that's a mythic land. Um, I'm just realizing right now that's probably a pretty good card. Wowzers. Okay. So, um, conclusion. I'm extremely happy with all of these polls. Wow. Yes. I mean, we had so many land. We have this one. And then, and then my other two. Like, that's crazy to me. Wow. Three land. Three land in one pole. One of, one of each rarity here. Too bad none of them are foil, but that's still really cool. Okay. Moving on. That was pretty good. Is this like just all about lands? I feel like I've got all the lands. What does this one do? Add a colorless mana. Pay one, add mana of one, any color. Pay four, sacrifice, and put two plus one counters on any creature. Activate only a sorcery. I mean, interesting. Super pretty card. It's gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> Envoy of Okanek Ahu. Create a 1 1 colorless gnome. Atali's Favor. Hutali's Final Strike. Fanatical Offering. Okay. Acolyte of Aklazotos. That's a lot of Aklas. <laughs> Spelunking. Spelunking. When Spelunking enters the battlefield, draw a card, then you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. If you put a cave onto the battlefield this way, you gain four life. Land you control enter the battlefield untapped. Holy moly. I don't know how good that is, but like, I think that's a good card. I would like that. Ixali's Lore Keeper. Add one mana. Okay, so a mana creature. That's super helpful. Calamitous cave in. Sorcery deals X damage to creature and planeswalker. Oh my gosh. Actually, that's really good. Like, if you actually build a cave uh, focus deck, which it seems that these cards are clearly built around that. Ooh. Master's Guide Mural. When it enters the battlefield, create a 4-4 white token. Master's Manufacturing. Okay. The Enigma Jewel. Ooh. Enters the battlefield tapped. Two mana. Activate ability. Scrap four. Locus of Enlightenment has each activated ability of the exile cards used to craft it. You may activate each of those abilities only once each turn. Whenever you activate an ability that isn't a mana ability copy. Oh my gosh. What the, what the heck kind of card is this? I'm, I'm assuming this is a really good card. It's a mythic. Um, you're over here exiling things and then just activating their abilities. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm really happy with my pulls tonight. I'm so happy. Thank you for being here with me. It's very, it's, it's so nice doing this. 
um, it's like, you know, you're watching this later, but I know that you're still sharing excitement with me, so, I mean, at least I hope you are. Please be sharing excitement with me. Don't let me be alone. Okay. Basking capybara. shiny. I don't really know if it's like super good or not. And then a uh, useless token. Okay, let's do another one. Alright, let's see what this pack brings us. again. River Herald Scout. Waterwind Scout. Curator of Sun's Creation. What do you do? Whenever you discover, discover again for the same value. Okay, so that, that's pretty good for a common to be able to just duplicate something like that. That's, that's pretty decent, I would say. Uh, Capricotti Sunborn. Whenever Capricotti Sunborn attacks, you may tap un tap two untapped artifacts into a creature you control if you do discover three. Okay, that's very good. Contested Game Ball. When you're dealt combat damage, the attacking player gains control. Okay, draw a card and put a point counter on contestant. If it has five or more point counters on it, sacrifice it. Create a treasure token. Okay, I mean, that's just like uh, a little like fun card to throw in <laughs> when you're playing with your friends. Um, whoever, I guess, in the end has it by the fifth turn. <laughs> you know, you create a treasure token. Mischievous pup. Battlefield, return up to one target permanent. You control to its owner's hand. Ooh. Bartolome. Bartolome del Presidio. A vampire knight. He looks really cool. Bartolome del Presidio. 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 Uh, sacrifice another creature artifact plus one counter on him. Okay. I mean, if you have, like, a ton of, like, token artifacts or creatures, this is gonna be a big, big, big creature for two. That's pretty good. I, I really love the art on this one. Hulking Raptor. We got a dinosaur. War 2 at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase. Add two mana. It's like, that's actually really good. I mean, he's Ward 2, he's only 4, and he's still got 5, he's still 5-3, and you just get 2 mana. Like, you don't even have to do anything. <laughs> okay. Like, what? What? That's actually, like, so good. <laughs> uh, canonized in the blood. Shiny enchantment beginning of your end step. If you descended this turn, I'll put a plus one counter on a target creature you control. Okay. I mean, I really like the dinosaur we got in this one and the vampire knight. So I think those ones are pretty good. And I thought there were some other decent ones we haven't gotten yet. So, not too bad, but I would definitely say not as good compared to some of the other
I like blues and greens and purple colors. <laughs> really pretty. And the land. Hidden courtyard. Hidden courtyard understand. Okay. Malamet veteran. Malamet scythe. Ooh, Malamet brawler. Iron paw aspirant. Cat warrior, cat warrior, goblin, Zo Zoyawa, lava tongue, a goblin warlock, death touch. At the beginning of your end step, if you descend at this turn, each opponent may discard a card or sacrifice a permanent. Deal three damage to each opponent who did it. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> I feel like that's a pretty decent card. <laughs> I don't like it. Zoya was justice. The owner of target artifact or creature with mana value one or greater shuffles it into their library. Then that player discovers X where X is its mana value. Okay. Sure. You know. Spyglass Siren. That's cool. Sahili's Lattice. When Sahili's Lattice enters the battlefield, you may draw a card. If you do, draw two cards. Oh, oh, discard a card. I think I said draw. I was like, that didn't make sense. Craft with one or more dinosaurs. The what? Exile this artifact. Exile one or more dinosaurs. You can draw and or dinosaur cards. Interesting. Okay. Um, this is such a cool island. Like, I mean, disgusting, but like, so cool. I like that a lot. Terror died. Like, legit, I actually did not know that was double-sided. I didn't really pay attention to it. Um, I've never really seen a land like this be double-sided because it's the exact same thing. Um, I just guess you get to choose which art you want. Both are creepy. Alright, Terror Tide. That seems okay. Alright, all creatures get minus X, minus X until end of turn where X is the number of permanent cards in your graveyard. That could be pretty good. Cartographer's Companion. When Cartographer's Companion enters the battlefield, create a map token. Hey, I have one of those. <laughs> it's an artifact with a pay one and tap. Sacrifice this artifact. Target creature you control explores. Activate only a sorcery. Ooh. This is a, a miscellaneous card. M15. Gather courage. Convoke. Your creatures can now cast a spell. Each creature you tap while casting the spell pays for one or one mana of that creature's color. Interesting. I haven't seen that before, so I don't know if that's something that I've missed <laughs> while playing Convoke before. I thought it could only be a colorless mana, but this is saying that, like, if the creature is green and I tap that creature, it can technically pay for this. Um, so that's interesting. I wonder if that applies to all cards with Convoke, or if it is, um, just special to this one. I mean, if you know and you're here, let me know in the comments, because I don't know. Uh, okay, but target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. That's kind of crazy. I mean, you could use that to, like, save a creature. I like how much this card's worth. It's pretty good. Alright. I mean, nothing like super exciting in that one, but definitely some good cards. Uh, I think we're officially halfway through, so let's keep going. So 
over here is our art card. These are the new lands. My husband and I don't know how we feel about them because, um, I don't know, it just looks so different. So different. So I don't know. <laughs> I still don't know where I stand. Um, okay, another chance. You may mill two cards, then return up to two creature cards. Okay, sorry, I'm not supposed to be reading all of these. I'm running out of time. Uh, join the dead. Okay. Fungal fortitude. Mine shaft spider. Chart a course. Draw two cards and discard a card unless you attack this turn. Okay, that's, that's kind of cool. Can Jolly's Dawn Runner. Double strike, enter the battlefield and explore. Glimpse the core. I like it when there's, um, I choose one in sorceries. Alright, we got another flip. When all the clan landmark enters the battlefield, scry one. Oh, look at that dinosaur! <laughs> Otic clan levitator. So, oh, flying. Okay, cool. Synth Claw Raptor. Look at that. That's so cool. Uh, whenever a player casts a spell, if it's not their turn, Synth Claw Raptor does four damage to them. Okay, alright. I'm here for that. Queen's Bay Paladin. Whenever Queen's Bay Paladin enters the battlefield or attacks, return up to one target vampire card from your graveyard to the battlefield with a finality counter on it. You lose life equal to its mana value. Interesting. Pathfinding X draw. Enters the battlefield, it explores. Okay. Again, I don't think I had too many wow factor cards in there, but like this one looks super cool. Um, so, yeah. beautiful thing I've ever seen. Oh, I'm sorry. I think, I honestly think I get more obsessed with, like, the art cards than, like, the cards themselves. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love, 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 love that. Okay. Captivating Cave. So, okay, we have this one before. A Thousand Moons Inventory, Adaptive Gem Guard, Hunter's Blowgun, Attentive Sun Scribe, Sunshot Militia, okay. Dauntless Dismantler, Guardian of the Great Door, Alright, we have an angel cost two planes. As an additional cost to cast a spell, tap four untapped artifacts, creatures, and or lanes you control. Okay, that's, that's not too bad. So basically, instead of paying like an additional four colorless mana, it's, it's like another way of saying convoke, I guess, but you can use um, other things. Geological appraiser. Okay, discover clay fired bricks when it enters the battlefield. Search a library for basic land card reveal, put it into your hand, then shuffle. Cosmium kiln enters the battlefield. Okay, two of them color was nobs. Okay. Souls of the Lost has an additional cost to cast a spell, discard a card, or sacrifice a permanent. Souls of the Lost power is equal to the number of permanent cards in your graveyard, and its toughness is equal to that plus one. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Look at that. Plus. 
plus one. Um, that seems pretty cool, honestly. Um, if you're building up your graveyard and you have a big graveyard, that's a pretty hefty creature. Ooh, a sunken citadel, 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 citadel. <laughs> uh, it enters the battlefield tapped. As it enters the battlefield, choose a color. Add one mana of, add one mana of the chosen color. Uh, add two mana of the chosen color. Spend this mana only to activate abilities of land sources. That's okay. I mean, that's... I've not seen this kind of card before. That's really cool. Okay. And a copy token. I like that. I like that a lot. It's a really cool land. graveyard, but, I mean, if you're playing a mill deck and or, you know, a cave-focused deck, that shouldn't be too difficult to achieve. Oh, what are you? Ookabinbok. Ookabinbok. The Great Mistake. Vigilance. Menace. What do you do? Descend 8. Return Ookabinbok. The Great Mistake. From your graveyard to the battlefield. With a finality counter on it. Activate only if there are eight or more permanent cards in your graveyard, and only as a sorcery. Okay, I like his name. Ooh, another cave. Pit of Offerings. Enters the battlefield tapped. Enters the battlefield. Exile up to three target cards from graveyards. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, tap to add one mana, and then add one mana of any of the exile cards. It's colors. Ooh. Oh, I thought it was like an etched or something because he looks. That is such amazing. Like, he looks like he's popping off the card, but he's not. Okay. Uh, Caparaka. Hold on. Caparocti. Caparocti. I don't know how you would say that. Uh, Caparocti, Sunborn. Human soldier, whenever he attacks, you may tap two untapped artifacts and or creatures you control. If you do, discover three. <gasps> we got the dino DNA. Imprint. Exile target creature card from a graveyard. Create a token that's a copy of target creature card exiled with dino DNA, except it's a green green dinosaur creature with trample. Um, what? That's so cool. It's just like a little dino generator. <laughs> okay, I'm here for that. Tarion's Journal, legendary artifact. Sacrifice another artifact or creature. Draw a card. Activate only as a sorcery. Ooh, the tomb of Aklazots. You may cast a creature spell from your graveyard this turn. If you do, it enters the battlefield with the finality counter on it. Hmm. This is uh, this is interesting. 
Okay. Curious on the uh, value of this because it's just very different from what I've seen in regards to what I play. So, and it's a legendary land. <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, what are you? Creature fungus. Brood rage mycoid. At the beginning of your end step, if you descend this turn, create a 1 1 black fungus creature token. And then we also got. Jungle Born Pioneer, which is maybe from a different set. Um, I'm not sure if this is one of those one off cards. When Jungle Born Pioneer enters the battlefield, create a 1 1 blue morpho creature token with hexproof. <laughs> okay, that's cool. I like that. I'm gonna go put that one in my. Uh, I have a token merfolk deck that duplicates. Okay. We only have one more pack to open. I would have to say my like first two were some of my better ones, um, but I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't know the true value of like any of these cards right now. Ooh, I got a gnome token. Good, because I definitely saw some cards that were generating gnomes. Alright, here's our art card. Still does not top my colorful elephant. That was that was the win of the night. Ooh, we got a foil full art planes. I do like the foil. I think the foil makes it feel um a little more fancier. River Herald Scout. We have a Waterwind Scout, Seeker of Sunlight, River Herald Guide, Creature with Vigilance, Hoverstone Pilgrim, it's a Golem, Flying War 2, Tap, Pay, or no, I just have to pay 2, put target card from a graveyard on the bottom of its owner's library. Okay. Gold Fury Strider. It's Golem Trample. Tap two and tap artifacts under creatures you control. Close to a twenty turn. Zoetic Glyph. Enchant artifact. Okay, cool. That's cool. Sunbird Standard. Uh, add one mana of any color. One or more. We got another one of the dinosaurs, holy cow. Uh, sunbird Effigy. Flying Vigilance and Haste. Equal the number of colors among the exiled cards used to craft it. I like these crafting. That's, there's been one in every pack here, and it's very interesting. I have two of these. I don't know if that's a good thing. But like the exact same card. So I don't know. Get lost. Okay. Destroy target creature. <laughs> okay. Uh, sacrifice the target creature you control explorers. I mean, that seems like a pretty good card. Self reflection. That's pretty good. Okay. So, um,. Yeah, I would say overall, uh, some really great cards tonight. I'm excited to now go and share these with my husband. Uh, we do the little thing where we buy them on the pre-release day, open it for ASMR, and then, uh, go enjoy the cards together. So, um, that's what I will be doing now, but thank you, thank you, thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that uh, you were able to relax and maybe get a little excited with me on some of these cards. Um, but yeah, I post ASMR videos every week, so if you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to give this video a Subscribe for more videos.